Welcome uh, to our expedition to the Bluff Creek, California area, June 2012. My name is M.K. Davis. My expedition partners are Ken Eddings from Alaska and Don Monroe from Montana. Don was not able to go into the Bluff Creek area because of a health issue. He had a brown recluse spider bite on his ankle. So Ken and I went in uh, together and this is sort of a video recording of our trip. Uh, I'll just try to keep you uh, informed on what you're looking at uh, as we progress through this. Um, I had a camera that I bought specially for this that you know has uh, kind of did it all. It would, it was uh, capable of high magnification or close-ups or panoramas, or will take a burst of 60 high-quality shots in one second. Real proud of the camera, except that you got to be in a good place to take a picture of something meaningful. So there we were back in the California area trying to do something worthwhile. Uh, this is some of the beautiful scenery that, that we were able to take shots of uh, going in. We hike, had to hike in. Gates were locked. Uh, it's probably about 10 miles back in there total. Uh, much of it downhill and so consequently much of it back uphill coming out. Uh, the, the country is just very very beautiful and scenic and rugged. Uh, actually had a bear encounter going in. Uh, where I was walking with my head down and the bear was walking with his head down and we were about four seconds from bumping heads. Uh, but the bear it did the wise thing, I think, and just uh, bounded off the road. But I had my little high-powered camera with me and did not get a shot. Uh, so that kind of tells you, you know, it's kind of up to the photographer uh, to be ready. and. Uh, believe me, uh, if something like that happens, it's very difficult to be ready. This is the Bluff Creek drainage. That area up in there, it's, uh, it's mostly second growth. There, there is some old trees in there, but uh, it, it was logged at one time in the past, uh, distant past, pretty good. These are fast growing trees. Uh, a lot of them had little metal tags that gave information about the tree uh, and the date that it was planted. So some of these trees you see here were planted like in the mid 80s. Uh, so they're pretty fast growing trees. You see the clear cut uh, along the hills. There are two patches of clear cut. Um, it's, it's, not, it's not pristine wilderness. It's not untouched wilderness, but it's very rugged and difficult to get to so it doesn't receive a, a lot of visitors uh, in those areas. And, and, and you'll see now, you know, why it perhaps may not even get as many as it used to get. Uh, the Forest Service having, you know, uh, plowed the roads, uh, deep plowed the roads and uh, allowed them to wash and pull culverts up and things like that. So the accessibility to the areas, especially along the creek, has become, you know, very, very difficult. Uh, you can't hardly get in there. Uh, you can't get in there with a vehicle at all. I don't know what, if this is a volcano or not, but I'm from Mississippi and that's what they look like in pictures. So I figure it must be. Well, I tell you that this is, this is God's country here. Uh, it's, it's just beautiful, beautiful place. Um, and it's got that aura of mystery about it, you know, have, having had the, the Patterson film filmed in that area, uh, it's kind of like Oz. Uh, but unfortunately, there's no yellow brick road going down there, so uh, you have to uh, hike in there and, and huff it. That bare bald spot, that's a landing area, isn't it, if I remember right? If you look across the way there, there on the hillside, uh, you'll see, there it is right there, it's zooming in on it. Uh, that's a road. Uh, if you, you can see it through the trees a little bit. Uh, that road goes almost down to the film site before it completely washes away. Well, we've been up there and, got, and gotten on it, Don and I have, before in the past, and found some very interesting things up there. 